screen. Kia ora. <laughs> Welcome to a cup of tea and a yarn. <laughs> we never plan this. It's terrible. It's terrible. Sometimes um, it's your turn. It's my turn. It's your turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not so good. Not so good. Maybe after about 10 years of doing this, we'll get it. Maybe. Uh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a personality thing, I think. Anyway, I'm Kylie. I'm Crafty Mama on Instagram and Ravelry, and it's raining on and off here, so I apologise for the rain noise. Yeah. I'm Jill. I'm Tin Yarn on Instagram and Ravelry, and it's not raining here at the moment, but when it comes, it comes. It yeah, we've been getting massive gusts. showers, yeah. 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 I was just saying to Kylie before that um, it looks like we're both dressed to match our backgrounds today. And a blue, blue and a bit of green. <laughs> and I'm all coral. Corals. <laughs> do you know, I think, um, sorry, I sit in my bedroom when I do this because it's our, this is where our office is set up. Thanks, COVID. Um, and I think I bought those sheets about the same time as I knit this. Oh. You, you so, had that, you're in that colour scheme at the time? Yeah, and every time I pull this out, the colour makes me really happy and having the sheets on the bed make me really happy too. So yeah. I really do like this colour. Oh, cool. And I think it suits my complexion. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I believe in that because I'll just wear whatever I want. <laughs> Speaking of, you've had your hair done. Oh, yes, I'm going mm. a bit lighter. I'll get lighter like again it. this time. Yeah, it's um, Looks good. It's not as red as I thought it would be. Oh, it's not yeah. as orange as I thought it would be. But yeah, you know they did well to get the black out, like they did. Yes, yeah, it's no, I think it's much black. softer. I think it's yeah. much softer. The black was very harsh, which is fine yeah. if that's what you're going for. But I think this is. I like this better. Yeah. <laughs> it feels a little bit grown up for me. It's not as statement. But <laughs> Well, exactly. If if the statement is what you're going for, the black is the thing, right? <laughs> yeah. So I think next time we're going to go a bit more orange. Right. Yeah. We'll see. Fade <laughs> into autumn like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was thinking about browns the other day and knitting with browns, so maybe I'm getting into that kind of um, – I was looking, I got my oranges and browns out. I was like, ooh, make something nice. I also saw some, I think, a really cool, like almost clashing, but clashing well colours together, which was pink and orange. Ooh. It looked so good. Did it? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Really go. good. So I was looking at that as well. And, oh, what can I make? What can I make? But I didn't, I didn't um, cast on anything. I, I did a different cast on instead. <laughs> wow. Well. So what are, you, what are you knitting at the moment then? Will we do finished okay. items or what are you knitting? Well, should we do what we're knitting? Because I just talked about yeah. that. Yeah. So since I just talked about what I just decided to cast on, um, mm. I decided to cast on my XP sweater. Ooh. So and you bought this at Bendigo last year, didn't you? Yeah, and I bought the kit. So I had this and I had um, the yarn from uh, Louis and Lola. Um, That's the one. Yeah. That's these two colours. I love that dark purple. It's They're both beautiful. Yeah. Bramble, and that's a um, a polewood. And then this one is called Old Stone, and that's Merino Singles. I think Merino Singles. It is Merino Fingering. Just 100, yeah. Just, fing just Merino by itself. A super wash. wonder how that will work, like... Because they'll have different elasticity and stuff. Yeah, well, that's what, I mean. I've <coughs> but it was a kit, so it must be okay. It was made for it, and lots of other people have done similar. So, um, because the pole was non-superwash. Hmm. hmm. It's the marine superwash. Yeah, but the pole is a lot plumper, you see. Hmm. You can see if I just do that. Yeah. Hmm. It's very plump, very nice. Anyway, so it is a shaker stitch, which is a half fisherman's rib. Um, um, I'm quite enjoying it. Something a bit different. 
looks really good together. It's a lot of nits and pearls. Mm. But, you know, it's like you can see what's happening, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's my thing I just cast on because I wanted to do something different. And I started it last night. And so this is um, last night and a bit of this morning's just started um, the raglan increases. You've done a lot for one night. Yeah, I think grows yeah. really because it's quite fat needles as well. Yeah. Um, I am doing it on the needles it tells you to, which is surprise, um, which is a 3.5. Right. Okay. It might be 3.2. It might be 3.5. Um, Do you normally go up or down? You go, go down. down. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I kind of check my gauge and I'm a little bit off, but right. not as much as I thought I would be because I thought, oh, I better check because the size two and size three start the same. Right. It's only when you get to regular increases, they change. Right. I was like, okay, I better check my gauge now. So wish I do a two or a three. Yeah. But I'm going to do the three. I think that. Um, what will happen is it seems that everybody has to block it really a lot. Ah, okay. So I just won't have to block it as much. Aggressively. Yeah, aggressively, that's the word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm just living in my darling bag. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very How nice. You? What are you um, spending time um, on? I've been fairly monogamous in terms of knitting. Um, I've been knitting on my, on my Aurora Cabin Shawl, which is the Hyber Knitting. Yes. So it's West Knits, Hyber Knit Along from 2022, 2023. So this is the this is the pattern, the Aurora Cabin Shawl. That's cool. I remember when you picked your um, colours for it. Yeah, yeah, I bought them in Sydney and it's yeah. um, Life in the Long Grass. I'm actually in the middle of a row, but... <laughs> I'll just show you. I'll just hold up. So when I picked it up last, how do I show this? When I picked it up last, I was about halfway through here. Hmm. So I've done half of that and finished a whole section of repeats on this. This takes ages, this section. Mm -hmm. And it's all written out. It's like each row yeah. um, written out and you have to really follow along. Yeah. So... Um, I finished that last weekend and I've started on the next section, which is a slip stitch section. Oh, yeah, nice. Excuse That's my disgusting really cool. fingernails. Yeah. But the um, the rows are now over 500 stitches long. Yeah. So I... Half an hour ago or something. It's... I. This This stitch is... On the right side, it's like a plain or a knit one, slip one, and then on the reverse it's always um, ribbed. Right. That rib row takes me almost an hour. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, so I'm like I'll sit down at night and we'll be watching something because my kids are older now. We go to bed a lot. We go to bed later. They go to bed later, which yeah. means we only get like one hour long show if we're lucky. Yeah. And um, I sit there and I pick it up straight away, do one row, and then I don't pick it up. If if I get it done, great. If I don't pick, if I finish the row, I'm been picking up one of my scrappy knitting um, ones, yeah. which have rows this long, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and just doing that until we go to bed because I don't want to start another row and then be up till eleven. So, um, oh, because you wouldn't stop halfway like I would. No, 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 <laughs> no. I if. If it's a not a weeknight or if it's, you know, my, if my husband decides to go to bed early and I want to stay up a bit, I'll put another show on until yeah. I finish the show. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're very good at um, with your kind of like the way you set yourself goals like that. It's like, you know, you'll do the row. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Rather than like I just put things down then I don't know where I am when I pick it back up again. Yeah, I really hate that. I've been burnt by that too many times. So, um, and especially when it's a pattern and it's like, yeah, it is 500 rows, stitches. Mm -hmm. um, and, 
Yeah, I'm probably getting two rows a night done because I'll do, I'll also try and when I come home from work, do a row while the kids are off. Then I'll cook dinner and, you know, do all that. And then I do another row in the evening. So I'm really, uh, it's been fairly easy to be fairly um, monogamous because I've been just breaking it down like that. Yeah. Is there a lot to go on it? Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, what is the pattern? I'll show you on the pattern where I'm up to. Uh, I'm probably, in terms of number of stitches, uh, like actual number of stitches in the entire project, I'm probably only just halfway. Right. Um, okay, so here, if I show you this, I've done, that's that pattern section that I finished oh, last yes. weekend. Oh, I mean, looks, like, looks like you're on the home stretch. Um, not quite. So I've done, I'm in this section now. So I will probably finish that section this week and then start on that section. That's another repeat of this. So that could take me two weeks to do that section. Mm -hmm. And then this section is, um, chevron. Oh. And that chevron will be over. I, it's got to be over about 700 stitches. Oh, yeah, there you go. The i cord border is 723 stitches. And are you kind of motivated to get it finished? I am. I am now. So I sort of, I really did like this year's um, hyping it along. Mm. Um, but I really just, after finishing so much last year and actually going to the effort of counting them and stuff like that, I'm quite motivated this year to do it again. Um, so I've even got, you're very impressed. I've got, I asked for this for Christmas, a creativity <laughs> diary cool. from Kiki K, which mm -hmm. is a bit over the top. Look, it's got way too much in it. I'm never going to use all of that. And it does feel a little bit wasteful, but I wonder if I could use it several for several years. Yeah. I yeah. So this is, it's got a month. So that's January and I've written mm. out like when I've done things, like when I've started something or finished something and I've got my little monthly goal mm -hmm. and make note of what I'm doing. And then, but then it's got the, throughout the month, it's got like wide spreads for each. Oh, yeah. And then you go into February and it starts again. And I'm like, actually, this is all I need, just this one yeah. page. So. I don't know whether maybe next year I adapt that or something. I don't know. Anyway. I think I, I, I had a diary once that I tried to make into my creative diary, just a normal diary, yeah. and I did it maybe twice in the year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had one last year that my daughter bought me for Christmas and I was doing that, and, yeah, I by the end of the year it, was, it had gone by the wayside. But I'm trying to be a bit more... I don't know, focused. But, yeah, each month, it ha each week, it's got things like creative prompts, like, um, oh, look, monthly reflection too has, like, how I'm feeling, things I've noticed or learnt, challenges I've faced, how I can overcome these challenges in the future, what will I do differently this month. And it's got, like, great um, things to be grateful for. And so, yes, there is that monthly reflection each month. And I think if I use that, I'll probably... Yeah, I'm feeling very focused about my creating after last year. So yeah. I've also got the bingo challenge from, and right. I should stick it on the front maybe. That actually fits there. Look at that. I haven't stuck it in yet. I can stick that there. Yeah. So it so stick it inside on one of the pages. Yeah, well, yeah. So um, Giddy Yarns is doing a bingo year-long bingo card. Mm-hmm. Um, and she put up um, her bingo card, but also a bunch of um, empty ones for us to edit. Mm -hmm. And um, so so my, my yearly goals are use more stash than I buy. I did that last year. I want to do at least one machine knit per month. Oh, yes. So whether that's a pair of socks or something on my flatbeds, mm -hmm. finish a quilting project. I've got about three quilting projects very close to being finished. So I'd like to do that. Um, I'd like to have less whips at the end of the year than when I started. Did that last year. Don't buy any mystery yarn. Really? Yeah. 
I'm not buying any mis any mystery yarn oh. this year because I've just you know in my reflecting last year that all the mystery yarn I brought in I haven't used at all. So that's the stuff I'm not using. I yes. want to knit something for everyone in the family. Mm -hmm. I've got plans. I want to use my leftover yarn within a month on one of my leftover projects. Okay. Uh, spin at least 100 grams per month mm -hmm. and finish two blanket projects. Wow. So I've got two already on the go that are close to being finished. So I've got two as well on the go at the moment, a crochet one and a knit one. Hmm. Oh, I've got three, four. Mm. Oh, and then another crochet one. Oh, and then the other. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah. The other thing I've been knitting this week, but not very much of, is my little pink stripy thing. I've um, um, that far now down my uh, my my body. That's really nice. I love the neckband on that. Yeah, same. Did I show you my little, uh, did I show you my? Ooh, what are they? They increase ones? No. Oh, Pac-Man, yes, you showed me them last year. Yeah, there's a Pac-Man and there's all the things and there's an apple somewhere as well. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, I've been doing that, but it's kind of good, I don't know. Just round and round and round. It feels like it's not growing very quickly. Yeah. That's why I did the other one. But um, yeah. I've kind of weighed my yarn. I might have, I might be able to make it quite long, a little bit longer sleeve. So I might get a oh, cool. bit of use of it in autumn rather than Lovely. making it summer retail. Yes. Well, that'd be nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you knitting on anything else? Um, not really. I've got socks at work that I'm knitting on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm really not. Started some socks as well because I've done a couple of pairs. So, you know, my meeting meeting ones. Um, mm -hmm. Inspired by your Zabba Ball stripes. Yes. So if I'm doing one by one because last time I did four by four, I got holes and it was just a mess. So I'm doing right. one by one stripes. So you don't really see them very much, but it kind of fades. That's cool, though. I really like that. It's, it's this is the Zalba ball. It's a yeah, yeah, that one, which I've had before, and I've made just socks, straight socks with. Yeah, but yeah, I'm quite enjoying the stripiness of it. It's really fun, isn't it? It is, and because you know, with the you just you know, do the thing where you put the yarn to the back, and then, and then yeah. Yeah. It's so easy, isn't it? It is. And so there's no holes down the side, which I'm very Excellent. happy about. <laughs> so I've actually finished mine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to finish because that's all my, I'm knitting on. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll show you. So these are the ones that inspired yours. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yes. The 4 by 4 does look good, doesn't it? It's uh, three rows. Three oh, rows. Three, doing three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, looks very good. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with them. So they're almost was, like they're almost even, like the colours. Um, hang on. I'm just trying to find the ball to show you how much I had left. Oh, it's downstairs. Never mind. Oh, it's here. Here <laughs> we go. So I've still got That's quite a lot on. left. Yeah. And I was showing my 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 daughter saw them and she was like oh i really like them and i'm like yeah they're really cool um and really fun to knit and she would and i said should i make these for you because they'll fit you mm -hmm. and i was knitting them top down and i was uh, this is when i was in the middle of my first one um hang on i think my oh, oh there you go <laughs> that. um i was in the middle of my first one and she was like oh no i don't want socks mummy but i'd really like some gloves oh well there's heaps of space heaps left for gloves there's, there's enough left for gloves so i'm going to do the exact same thing but with gloves nice so, yeah oh, look really cool yeah these might go to my mother-in-law i think yeah we'll see yeah i'm really gonna excellent. Yeah, I'm just going to put them aside. So, yeah, so literally just one took from one end and one end with the Zauber ball. 
um, and did three rows, three rows. And I think was this this was my first one. So you can see when I got to here where it started being the same as where mm -hmm. I turned the heel. Mm -hmm. So the leg's not as long as I would normally make them, but I'm okay with that. Mm. Okay, plenty long. This is mm. long as my, oh, about as long as my leg. I normally make them the same length as the foot length. Oh, yes. Because I do the foot first. Oh, uh, yeah. And then I fold it in half and when I'm up to the length is where the toe started or finished is where I start my ribbing. Uh, That's how I normally do my socks. Yeah. But, yeah, so I, I finished these because um, from here down to here is a management course. Yeah. Last week. <laughs> then I turned the heel while we were in Cook's Beach last week, <laughs> like in the car. And then from here down to here, there's a uh, drug and alcohol course this week. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah. <I love> that. <laughs> and I finished that this morning at Cafe Knitting. So um, I don't yeah. know which meetings I finished mine in. Just <laughs> constant meetings throughout the week. <laughs> I so I don't I can't knit in meetings anymore either because um so we've been doing our morning meetings at our computer and I had this fantastic idea that gee wouldn't it wouldn't we be more productive and have a better team dynamic and blah 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 if we actually had a meeting room right. No, I can't really take my knitting. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that, I did take it twice this week. I was like, well, mm. it's just us. Exactly. I'll take mine into meetings, like face-to-face -face ones, depending on who's yeah. in the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So I have two pairs of socks finished. Oh, look at you. So I've had seen them both on these, um, Instagram. Yeah. So these there are... You are Sorry, they're the purple sprouting Christmas ones, eh? Yes, they are. Um, all, all of those things called? Candy cane, candy candy cane? cane confetti. Yes. So nice. Candy cane confetti. Excellent. Yeah, really nice. I did a weird rib because I couldn't be bothered ripping. So oh. it's a broken rib. So I just did knit one, pull one, and then the next one I just knitted. So oh, nice. I need did rib every other row, which I, and I don't think you can tell. I think it looks quite pretty. <laughs> Great. I'm really quite happy with how they've come up. Mm. So nice. And then the other are ones. They, are they for you or? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll go in the box and I'll see. Because when, when I fancy a new pair, I just go into the box and get a pair out. <laughs> right. I'm starting a sock box this year um, yeah. because I would really like to give socks to everyone for their birthday this year. Yeah. Um, nice. So we'll see. And the ones are the Piccolettis. Oh, yes. Which is um, the yarn that you, you used half of last last year or the year before now? I th it was last summer. Last yeah. Summer, yeah. So it's like a cotton, yeah. I think. Hey. How did you go with it? Really good. I've got yeah. this much left as well. Oh. So um, you'd use 50 grams on a lacy one that you'd done. Yes. I remember, yeah. And then um, you gave me the rest to, so yeah, Piccoletti, which are, I quite like these ones. They've got the rib bottom. Are they uh, a free stock? Is no. Free um, no. Bought, it last, bought it the year before last for the Indie Gift Long. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's got a little tab thing on the back. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yes, I made those. These ones are for me because yes. I wear my other ones all the time. Yeah. So that's my two pairs of socks. And these only, they seem to take like four days. Yeah, they're really quick, eh, little four socks? Four days at work, like, you know, yep. apart from the heel turn, which I did at night. Yeah. But um, I, so I did them two at a time, so they don't match. But the, the blue's in the same place, but everything else is opposite. I noticed that the blue was in the same place. Yes. <laughs> thought that's quite clever. Yeah. And, uh, so I just did, you know, from one from each end. Um, cool. Yeah, and didn't have, yeah, even with the ribbing, which, you know, sometimes ribbing can take a little longer. But it mm. didn't, yeah, they grew very fast. No leg, you see. 
Yeah. So easy to do within a week. And it was only three or four days. Had a lot of meetings. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) I've got one more finished thing. How about you? Yeah, I've got a couple more finished things. Um, I did did just a two in a row then, didn't I? Oh, you did. That's true. Well, uh, this is kind of two in a row. Oh, cool. (laughs) So this was um, the mystery gnome along from last year, and I did finish it, but I forgot to bring them to Morrinsville to show you guys. That's right. So that's the gnome. Did you have to embroider the thing on his butt on his chest? I didn't have to, but I did. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, it's embroidered. I didn't knit that in. Yeah. <laughs> that would be very special. Um, but this this little guy, he's a snowman. Oh, See? oh, he's got a cat. Oh, look, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So they're very cute. I especially like this guy because we were told to use um, solid colours and a lighter colour. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to see how I go with this one because I really liked it. Mm. So these were leftovers from a pair of purple sprouting socks I made last year that I made the, um, it was the scrappy stripy sock. Mm. And that was the main colour and they were all minis. And I just had a little bit of orange because... By the time I came to knit the nose, it actually did tell us to use orange mm-hmm. for that part. Um, and these were all meant to be orange. I think this colour, this was the orange colour. Oh, no, it wouldn't have been. Oh, the pink. The pink was the orange. Oh. And so by the, I, I probably would have been okay with a pink carrot nose, but I think it's a bit more recognisable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, cool. Very, Very cute. Yeah, very cute. Are you doing them again this year? We'll see. I usually do the mystery ones. Mm. Yeah. If she just releases them, I don't do them, but um, I do find it hard to resist a mystery. Mm. And the gnomes, they're so tiny and so cute, like, and they make great gifts. So, yeah. Mm. So I'll do another finished object then in a row, shall I? Go on then. <laughs> so... My machine knit item Mm -hmm. for January Mm -hmm. is a cast-on bonnet. A what? It's called a cast-on bonnet. Mm -hmm. It's for when you're casting on, you have to do a wrap thing to attach it to the weight. So this is going to be what I use to attach the weight now. Um, It's got the pico there so you can put... Let me grab a needle. I did have some needles. Wait a minute. Oh, I put them away. Try to be. So this is for your sock machine. My circular sock machine. So instead, I can just like lift that over every other needle for casting on. Yeah. And this is long enough that it goes through the machine, and I can attach the buckle straight away to it and the weights. Yeah. Hmm. Very good. So I've been wanting to knit one of these for a while and I and to be honest I got to the 31st of January and went oh I haven't knit done a machine knit thing and I sat down and I was playing with my river and had problems with my river and I was like ah oh, I still need to do something for January aha so but that was a bit you, of a cheat did you make it on the sock machine I made it on the sock machine yeah <laughs> yeah so it's just a tube with a hung hem yeah and a pico edge. So right. I did that on the dock machine, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then at the end you just pull it all together. Yeah. Very cool. I like the, t- mm. I like the top. It looks, looks really like um, some kind of lolly. Like a gobstopper? Yeah. Or a, I don't know, need some eyes on it and it looks like um, some kind of thing. <laughs> So it's kind of like a little baby, a baby hat, baby yeah. hat, which gives me ideas. <laughs> I've got lots of babies to knit for this year. Oh, have you? Mm. Is it too small? Because it's like just like sock width, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. New- it would be the right size for a newborn. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it would be a bit... <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you made that bit shorter. Yeah. 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 Mm, very good. So I might knit some uh, newborn hats. We'll see. Um, I've been doing a test knit. Oh, yes. Show it's, me your test knit. So um, these are some fingerless mittens. It was quite interesting that last week, I did one the week before and I did one last week. Mm-hmm. Last week, um, I was obviously a little bit more anxious or something because my tension's a bit different. Right. So same Ooh. needle, um, same pattern, same everything. This one feels just a little bit tighter. Wow. Mm. I had a very busy. Are your week. hands are your hands slightly different in size? I wonder. Like if you swapped them. I know it'll feel awkward, but no, no, it's the attention. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, yes. Did I did have a a bit of a big week last week at work? So yeah, yeah. but interesting that it came out my tension <laughs> in the evening when I was knitting on this. So yeah, very different for me because lots of lace. Like I, you know, I don't do lace normally. And it's They're all beautiful, all lace. Um, yeah, I really enjoy. I did enjoy them. Um, good. Really good instructions. So this is um, by um, a lady called Cat, who's Broomstitch, and yep. she's in Wellington. Yep. Um, I've also got her hat to do. Uh huh. So I've got enough yarn to make the hat as well. So this is Prosper Yarn Butte in a yep. one of fine colorway. Um. Which I've had for quite a quite a few years, I think. Yeah, but I really like it. It's it's been it's it's one of those skeins where it's been waiting to see what needs to be made with it. Waiting for the right project. Yeah, and I think this is going to be the right project with the hat and the gloves. So yeah, you can lovely. see that it like one looks like it's shorter, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How interesting. Exactly the same. That's so bizarre. Mm. But yeah, so these are called Lavendula. Lavendula fingerless mittens. They're um she likes lavender plants, so the lace is right. based on that. Oh cool. But, and um, when is that gonna be released, that pattern, do you know? I'm unsure. She's um she gave four weeks to do the testing, so I, I think we're almost at week three since then. Right. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. I've got the, um, my next week's evening knit is going to be the hat. Right. You know, um, you know how you can, well, I don't know about you, but I can sit down on an on a evening and I've got a good at least hour and a half, maybe two hours of concentration time before I just have to go round and round and round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so I I'm, the- I'm not like that because I'm not a morning person. I'm a night person. So oh, yeah. at night is where I can do quite complicated things. Yeah. Um, yes. No. Well, I don't. So I've got maybe an hour, maybe a two hour maximum window <laughs> where right. I can use my brain. <laughs> I actually found it quite interesting while Jeremy was, while we were commuting together, yeah. while the kids were away, I thought, oh, I'll get all this knitting done in the car. In the mornings, I barely knit. Mm-hmm. Oh. And that's, yeah, because I'm still waking up. And yeah. you'd think it would be, I like I was just doing vanilla sock knitting. Even that mm-hmm. was like, don't want to. Yeah, but I do quite a lot of knitting in the morning before I get up, before I start work. <laughs> yeah. I do a lot of sleeping before I get up. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> fortunately. <laughs> and you said you've got some weaving as well. Oh, I've got another one. Yes. I've got another. I another one. Um, and I've gone. I have, I have one more. Knitting. No, 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 no. You finish. Let's finish talking about knitting. Okay, I finished my lazy summer make along. Oh, yes. Um, yes. I did the whatever. The sweet scarflet from yeah. Amber O'Brien, and instead of instead of making it shorter to tie in a bow, I just did it until I ran out of yarn. And Very nice. 
and yeah. that's the whole skinny scarf thing I said last time I'm really into the skinny scarf thing and so this is it's really quite long so it's around my neck and it's as long as my arms as well wow yeah this is um some of Ian from Mame Fiber oh. men yeah. like fibers yeah. yeah um yeah so I do um, I can't wait to wear this in <laughs> winter <laughs> I think I might do another one, but I don't want like hundreds of them. But I could imagine yeah. one would be outfit. <laughs> so I finished my one of the um lazy summer knit along. It was a beanie. Did I show that last time? Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah, that's long gone now. I think I um I, I gave you Jip for doing a lazy summer something in like a week. <laughs> in a week, yeah. <laughs> yep, you did. That's right. You were like, oh, it's meant to be lazy summer and knitting on it all the time. Well, that's um, another lazy summer one because oh, I yeah, used sure. a game for that as well. So I had to post yeah. it for that. Yeah. Um, this is a free pattern from Amber O'Brien. Oh, right. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's the second one I've done. The first one I got bored with. Um, I think I, this one I cast on less stitches than she said. Mm. So it's a little bit thinner. Um, Did you use the same needles? Um, maybe. Maybe a little bit bigger. Ah, interesting. Because it's double thingy. Yeah, you don't need around. it. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's a bit like it. Like, I think I used, I might have used three millimeter or something. Maybe right. Maybe three to five. Yeah. Yeah, but because um, you can't really see through it you know, unless you're like, yeah. Yeah. Because it's doubled. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And it meant it was really long because it was bigger. Yeah. You could double it over too and tuck it through. Like there's lots of different ways to wear it. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I oh, you got that. it. <laughs> I haven't posted it. I need to do that one. I finished it a couple of weeks ago. Oh, last yeah, week. that's good. Considering the first one you made, you struggled to finish. Yeah. Right. So that's really good. Mm -hmm. They seem to be in that like, the socks flew off, that flew off. It's like the round and round stuff. Yeah. It seems to be yeah. quite good at the moment. Yeah. Mm. So I've been I have been doing a bit of weaving. So when we were at Woolfest two years ago, I bought cotton, this cotton to make some tea a tea towel that was on display at Woolfest. I took the photo and stuff, and then I never did anything with it and I finally was like, right, I'm going to make that tea towel. And I warped up enough to make two tea towels and then I'm like, I tried to do the stitch that they had and it didn't look right. Right. Um, so what I then did, so this is on a rigid heddle and this is the Caterpillar Yarns by Ashford. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a, it's actually a spiral construction. So it's like... Um, cotton spiraled around some nylon or something oh, it's yeah. quite interesting um and it's quite uh fluffy mm -hmm. and i don't even know if it's nylon it might actually be cotton like a cotton thread yeah anyway not important um so at first i tried this pattern and i was like well that's no good because that's going to catch on things right and, and this is using pickup sticks and so then I found some books and started working my way through a few different patterns. Mm -hmm. So I started with, hang on, that was that was what I started with. And I do actually quite like this section. I can see myself doing something with that. Yeah. Um, that's quite interesting. That's closer to what it was, but it's still a bit, I don't know, uh, a bit grabby. And then I came across You don't want to be drying your forks on it. No, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but I wanted something that was quite um, squishy and quite thirsty, you know, yeah. like lots of lots of exposed layers. Yeah. Um, and so this is what I came up with, this, and then I figured out because uh, on the back it looks, it's not got the exposed sections. So yeah. then I figured out how to do it the other way, mm -hmm. which I don't have on this. But it's all right, I figured out how to do it. Oh, up here, all the way up here. Um, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, that's going to be my tea towel. So nice. I made a tea towel. You had like a sampler. 
yeah, so that was a sampler to yeah. figure out what I wanted to do for my tea towel. So I'm quite proud of that methodology, methodology that I went through. Yeah. And I've sewn it up. And wow. I've even added a. Oh, a tag. Wow. A machine tag, uh, perfectly imperfect. And uh, yeah, so. That's great. And um, the kids and Jeremy were like, oh, that's actually a really nice tea towel. Like, so. <laughs> The only problem is that my rigid heddle is only 40 centimetres um, and so that's that's the maximum width I can do. Right. Um, maybe maybe so we need to swap for a little while and you can have mine how, and I'll yours. How wide is yours? I don't know, the widest knitter's loom. Yeah. Wide? Oh, wow, really? Oh, ah. well. Because I want to do scarves and if you want it, we could swap, unless you bought one. Well, I am going to be entering in the Creative Fibre um, New Weavers. Oh, yes. What? Um, and my intention for that is if I win, I will then use the money to purchase some brand new Ashford product for myself, a brand new rigid kettle knitter's loom and nice yeah. wide one. And yeah. Yeah. I did get a second kettle kit. That's for right. For my rigid kettle. Mm -hmm. So with the second kettle, you can do two the layers which, which means you can double do a double layer so that's my mm -hmm. next step mm -hmm. trying that out um so yeah cool that looks amazing yeah so yeah and that took quite a bit of time because i used pickup sticks to make the pattern yeah. and, and imagine cotton would take quite a while to weave as well because it's quite thin well, uh it's thin the warp is thin, but the weft was a bit thicker. The weft is almost a five ply, about a five ply thickness. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So no, it was just the actual patterning because it's like lifting. I won't go into it, but it's it's lift it's lifting and moving and yeah. yeah. It's not just back and forth. You actually have to position things behind the heddle. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm very proud of myself for doing that. Very good. It's excellent. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. That's all I've done. I've done some spinning. Ooh. I finished off um my pineapple. Yes, I that looks great. As well. Yeah. I don't know. It's quite nice. Um it's quite um it kind of reminds me of linen. That's how oh, it feels. Yep. Yeah, but it's, it's quite pretty. But um, yeah, so that's why I finished that one. Cool. That was the um, twenty percent pineapple, mulberry silk, five percent mulberry silk, and merino. Mm -hmm. And then I was on a bit of a roll, and I got a big bag of like randoms from. Um, Jumbo carding. Oh, okay. Yeah. When, when we were at um, retreat last. Mm -hmm. So yep. I've done, I'd say I've done about three quarters of that now. And Good. so it's kind of different colours. Nice. So it's like greens and reds in it. And like some of the bumps have got a bit more red and some of them have got a bit more green. Right. So I think the ones I've coming up to start we've got a little bit more blue in it right yeah but um there's about 250 grams or maybe 300 grams of it well that's quite a lot yeah so there is quite a lot so i'm just randomly picking that up and spinning it then plying two things together but yeah there's i've got a little bit left in the bag um bored with the color at the moment so that's gone away now yeah. Um, and now I've got some blue out to spin. Right. Yeah. But thinking that I've, <laughs> I'm doing this, this com the combo spins out. Eh? So um, planning for the um, spin along. Yes. Planning a green combo spin. But right. whilst I was planning my green combo spin, I decided oh, I'm going to do a blue one as well. So I've started my blue one. Nice. So I'll see how far I get with that. And then I'll just put that one aside before the. Is it the 13th, the 12th? Uh, oh, I've got the 
dates in in my creativity diary. <laughs> no, I think it's later than that. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's so much crap at the front. Um, here we go. Seventeenth. Cool. So seventeenth to the twenty fourth, um, and it's an international spinning event called Spin Together. Mm. Mm. So I've got two weeks to do blue. Right. Before I change to green. Well, I've got two weeks to finish my what I've got on my Nano, which I should do. Mm. Yeah, I, I've been spinning some fibre to go fibre on my Nano. What I was spinning at um, Morrinsville. Yes. Mm. That's nice. That's pretty. Really pretty. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yes. So I've got some purchases that I haven't shown from last year. That's right. And I've got some from last time we got together. Right. Oh, yes, because you never showed yours. I didn't. Know. So show us what you won. Uh, this is what I won. <laughs> you should spin that during the spin oh, together. Maybe I will. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to stick to my blue, my blue or my green. I could do a, a funky color yeah. one. Yeah. So, yes, that's the one I won. Yeah. So, well, that's what I chose off the um, off the table. So yep. it is a merino silk and is called Fluoro Primaries. Nice. I really like that. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> do, and then, I forgot to say, you do, are you showing your sock, bought, sock ones that you bought last year? You got the candy. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh yeah. I don't think. Oh, I've only got, as in this one. No, no, you had the balls. Oh, the My Little Pony ones. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's okay. that one? You, I, made you, I made you put that one down. What was that one? That you oh, had? that was the same as the socks you've just knit. Ah, yes. Cool. Candy oh, and confetti. Oh, nice. Yes. And I actually got her other one, her mystery one. Yeah, you did. It's downstairs to be caked up for my machine. Oh, cool. It's down in my machine. Yeah, I thought I might try and do that on the machine. Nice. Um, right, so let's start with this was all December purchases. Oh. That we didn't show because I don't know why. So Handmaiden. Down in the South Island. Beautiful. Which is who we get our uh, Fibre of the Month Club from. Yeah. Uh, she did some My Little Pony self striping. This is Fluttershy. And it comes with a marker. <laughs> I love it. And then there's, I think this is Applejack. Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie. And it's got aqua. I love it. And there's Pinkie Pie. So she did them to match these. Now, these are not the colours. These are not the characters that you see these days. These are actually the traditional characters, oh. as in from the 80s and 90s when I was growing up and I had these. So I love them extra. And this one is not a My Little Pony one. It's a... It's just a self-striping yarn. Um, I think she called it the world or something, something to do with the world. Um, but it's, yeah, really nice greens and blues, and I thought that was a nice boy colour. Yeah. All of the colours are beautiful. They're amazing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> oh, my God. So she had about seven colours. Mm -hmm. So I think I did very well to only buy two. I think so, Yeah. <laughs> Um, so that was that. Um, have you got much to show? Much else to show? Um, just uh, my purple sprout and purchases from last time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So I also got the, I'll show a couple more then. So m the last Glau Yarn um, Vivaldi Club mm -hmm. um, was summer and it was, mm, now I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, it was just the minis, wasn't it? Was it? No, no, it was the minis and this. I'm pretty sure. This is called, yes, Summer. Mm -hmm. Tranquility 
Isn't that beautiful? Very nice, yeah. And, and these are the minis that go with it. That's cool. Yeah, I really like that pinky one. And this one's mm -hmm. quite cool too with the, like That's a tiger. Cool. Yeah, it looks like a tiger. <laughs> mm. And what she did was um, for everyone who signed up to the Vivaldi Club for the whole year, she gave us a free skein mm, as nice. well. But not only a free skein, she gave a mini as well as a free skein. Oh, oh. And this is called Weekend at the Batch, nice. this one. And for those you who aren't... taking that last weekend. And... I should have. I know. Um, for those who aren't in New Zealand, a batch is a holiday home. Yeah. And and the little mini is called Bioluminescence. So I cool. love that. I yeah. think that's so cool. Yeah. You want to show something? I've got so okay. much here. Ridiculous. Okay. Um, so I just... I, I just went to Purple Sprouting Sale Bin mm -hmm. last time, uh, last week when we were at Morrinsville, and I got these, which are both um, full ply fingering. Um, one of them says, unsure of base, possibly merino. <laughs> the other one is a merino light. I felt on. that one. I felt that unsure one. I had a discussion with Paula about it, and I think we decided it was actually BFL. It's softer than this one, though. It's softer than the Merino. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. maybe it was a different one. Because yeah. so the, the other one, one, the one I was thinking of was quite scratchy. So she'd, um, obviously these were kind of seconds or colours that she didn't, you know, weren't going or they, they hadn't picked up the colours properly. I, I quite like them. So they're yeah, a very good deal, and if they're not quite the same, but they're similar enough mm. I, that if I wanted to use them both, I could alternate them and they'd be fine. And then I got I, a little five dollar mini because why not? <laughs> I probably wouldn't alternate them because I think you will get stripes, but I would fade it. Oh, it's a good idea. Yep. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. That's about, because yeah, one is know. slightly darker. If you look at it from here, you can see that it, it looks a lot different. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I did buy some fiber last time, but they've gone into my bags and been split up, so I can't right. show them. Mm. So these are all mystery yarns that I'm showing you. This is why I'm like no mystery yarns. Mm -hmm. So this was a one from um, oh, here we go. Oops. A place called Rainbows and Sprinkles. She's in WA in New Zealand in Australia. Um, and this was a the nutcracker box. It was a Christmas box. Well, that's pretty. It's really pretty. And I'm thinking this will po probably become a baby um project. Because mm -hmm. I've got lots of babies to knit for this year. I'm like, and oh, and it came with matching minis. Yeah, nice. And so I think, I don't know, there's not a huge amount of difference between these. Mm. So this dyer does really beautiful, bright stuff. And actually when I got this, I was like, oh, it's not like her normal stuff. And it was a little bit disappointing, but that's okay. I think I can make these work for baby things. Yeah. So, And so this Nutcracker box also came with a, um, a few bits and bobs. And one of them was a a sun catcher um like a it was like a snowflake and anyway it's hanging up <laughs> downstairs came with this gorgeous little Ooh, cute. Yeah. and it's got a tea bag in it that is christmas in ceylon it's very spicy and a little thing with um, uh, um... Little Christmassy stitch markers, and it also had um, stoppers, needle mm -hmm. stoppers that I'm using. They're bright pink Christmas trees. I love them so much. <laughs> My Christmas tree that I have at work, I know that's not a normal thing to say, um, but because everyone's so bar humbug and I work in a male industry and all that, I insist on having Christmas tree at work, and it's hot pink. Nice. So yes, to me, I was like, "Oh my god, it's like she knew what I have at work." Oh, funny. 
Um, and the other thing I got, see, see what I mean? I bought way too many mystery yarns. Was the um, weird Barbie mystery box from oh, oh, from Lena Cindy? Yeah, and I got the DK weight mm -hmm. because I thought I need something different. Oh, beautiful! They are fabulous. Yeah. So this is called Hey Barbie. Love that. Oh. And this is the splits, as in oh. the crazy Barbie doing the splits. And I've got these. This is a little yarn. It's only one. It's a lobster clasp, and it's got a donut. Yeah. And a, a pill <laughs> with sprinkles in it. Nice. <laughs> um, and that was inside a edible, which was a meant to be like a circular chocolate thing that you smash, but mine was actually broken. So oh. Got it, which was a bit disappointing. So also in the box, I got a Barbie to make weird. Yes as well as glue, um, fabric scraps to make dresses for, instructions to make dresses, some patterns to make some things, some plasticine to mm -hmm. air dry, sorry, air dry clay to make yes. Barbie extra weird, scissors to make the hair weird, yeah. uh, a few other bits and pieces. But, yes, it was a very fun box to receive when, yeah. when I went for a call center um I was given a gift of a a barbie that had been made to look like a dominatrix excellent and, um so using um electrician's tape you know for brass and stuff and yeah. she, had a, she had a um call center headset on <laughs> that's so funny oh, yeah. <laughs> so funny. I wonder if I should make her into engineer Barbie. Maybe I could make her a high vis vest. Yeah. A high vis shirt out yeah. of a vest or something. She could become your angel on the top of your tree. She's bigger than my tree. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but I could just put her in my office just to annoy the boys. Yeah. <laughs> So I also got Scarlett gave me a calendar for Christmas um, mm -hmm. that is the Barbie movie calendar. So I've also got that on my wall at work. Right. I've opened it and I was like, oh, this will be great for work. And Scarlett's like, I knew you would say that. So, <laughs> so funny. Yeah. <laughs> my kids know me pretty well. I'm glad you remembered your um your handmaiden balls because they were beautiful mm. and now I can now that I've showed you all I can put them on my projects yeah <laughs> they are really cute oh, they are very good <sighs> you're off to the movies aren't you I am yes and then I'll start her tomorrow Woohoo! so have you taken my day off then yeah yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we we have two long weekends in a row here in Auckland oh, because last weekend was Auckland long week Auckland anniversary yeah. and then this weekend is Waitangi Day on Tuesday so a lot of people have taken Monday off and having yeah. a four day weekend. Apart from people with children who had to send them to school, I believe. <laughs> Most public schools haven't gone back and they're not going back until Wednesday next week for that very reason. Yeah, makes sense, eh? Yeah. 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 But my kids have been back over a week now. We mm. go to the movies at the Mount, so I don't know how crazy that's going to be over there. We'll see. Oh, it might be quite busy, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the weather might be keeping people at home, though. Yes, hopefully. Although it's sunny now. <laughs> It's sunny here now too. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. Um, we had um, beautiful weather for a long weekend, so I was thrilled about that. <laughs> um, I'm in Auckland 13th and 14th if you're around. We could, Ooh. It's just about two weeks away. It is. I think I can do that. Let me just write that in my little creative diary. No. 13th would be good because I'll be driving past on the way up. And it'll be a bit earlier. Otherwise, it'll be quite late on the 15th. So right. we can do the 13th and we can do an in-person get-together. 
Look, you're in my diary. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All righty. Well, you go to your movie. I'm going to finish my row that I've started on this. Oh, you're not going far to go. And then that way. Oh, you just started. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All righty. Okay. Enjoy your long weekend and enjoy Taupo. Thank you. Love yeah. to see you. <laughs> you too. See you later, everybody. Bye. Kakite. Kakite.